Hello everybody, and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Hmm, bit of an echo in the room, I'll have to fix that in post. Anyway, yes, welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada, where I will not be bitching about how OP and bullshit and bollocks and irritating the tower are. That's a separate video. But instead, to celebrate, you know, the fact that the Eldar are finally having cool stuff happen to them lately, I figured we'd play as some Eldar in Battlefleet Gothic. I haven't played as these guys in ages, I'm really looking forward to it. Although I'm imagining I'm going to be shite. Uh, but you know what? That's just the price of doing business. Space Marine fleets rely on tough armor and hit and run boarding tactics to get an edge on the enemy. Certainly true. But yeah, ah, oh, you know, with the destruction of Beltan and, you know, you need and all the the cool new Eldar stuff, I was really interested in the Eldar again, so we're gonna we're gonna give these guys a go. Right, um definitely get these two, two for escorts. And let's get ready to go. Ready to rumble Sorry, the door was rattling in the breeze, and it was really irritating. And I'm sure someone more professional would have probably fixed the door before starting, but nah, that ain't me. Right, so... Eldar, been ages since I played as them. Now they're forward firing, and they're medium range. They've got shuriken weapons, haven't they? Pulsars. I remember pulsars being really powerful. Alright, we'll... Everyone is, um... Prow firing weapons, there's no like side weapons. Yeah, they're all prow firing. Let's disengage auto engagement from all of these guys. Um, those guys can go six. Okay, right. Now we're fighting space, not Imperial Navy ships, so they're gonna be um, heavily armored, so we need to play it cool. Actually, what we should do is obviously. The bulk of the fleet's down here. And what have we got? Wraith Bone Reinforcement, Hollow Field Overdrive. Dark Star Squadrons. Oh, I do have um, scouts. Cool. I was going to say, if I was dumb enough to make this fleet without scouts, then there's something up with me. But yeah, we will send off a scouting probe, fight the guys up here. And then hopefully we'll have them destroyed by the time the, yeah, I was going to say, the majority of the fleet shows up to engage us. Alright, I'm drinking a nice cool glass of spate cider. At the moment, because I've had a bloody long day at work, I've been clearing out trap lines. Uh, dealing with you know, maggoty rotten rats and stoats all day. Just the type of image everybody wants to have. Right. Oh, I forgot, you have that click and then that weird attack thing. It really doesn't make much sense. But anyway. Right. So we'll go... Really? Right. Everybody should attack these guys. No, you should go then attack. And you should go then attack. Um, we will use Eldar Bomber Squadrons. You hit them right now with a pulsar. And you go like that. Then we go critical damage. Yep, everybody is going in torpedoes. Uh, oh, wow. That's the type of stuff we like to see. Just uh, the Eldar fleet. Some of them are lightly. Whoa, what the hell? How did I lose both my escorts there? In that one explosion? Crazy. Um, uh, cancel order. Now go there. Right. Now, what we need to do is quickly dish these guys a killing blow and then piss off again. Now, Let's go. Cancel order. Fall back. Um, engage repair. Oh, let's use a Maelstorm right 
there. Um, go. So, let's go for silent running and get everyone to shoot out the way. Cool, Maelstorm will do a bit of damage on them. And then we can figure out a counter attack strategy. Hmm. Right. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with these guys. Hit and run, maybe. We sh slow down, attack, fire on the first ship. Just hit them with every um, piece of attack firepower we have. And then go from there. So we're in the way now, right? And then we go tactical cogitator. Pulsars, torpedoes, torpedoes, ray foam reinforcement, hollow fields, you launch a squadron, you launch bombers. Excellent, now we withdraw, pull back. Oh, that pulsar was going off a bit. Now we pull back. Um, I really wish my sh ships would hurry up and get faster to. One, zero, one, boost forward. Right, boost forward. Now we turn up, cancel order. Sorry, I might not be that entertaining because I'm just trying to figure out how to play these guys again. Although I must admit, this is quite fun. Like, the hit and run tactics. I've never been a hit and run type of player in anything really. I've been a very uh, no nonsense brawler. That's how I played um, 40k when I used to um, play it a bit more often. I'd actually play as a more, even though I was like Space Marines, short range firepower and heavy brawling. Mm. Sorry, I was starting to eat my chips and then I realized I'm recording. You eat chips after the recording. Uh, you can tell it's been a while since I made a video because of my poor uh, mic discipline. Right. Everybody boost forward. Hmm. Need to figure out how to deal with these guys. I want to try and get out into open space a bit more and then work from there. Uh, what have we got? Vel's maneuver. Warp Storm is still another 20 seconds off. So I've got no real AOE weapons, no bombs. Great. Engines destroyed. Uh, that's enemy macro cannon fire. Boost out the way. Alright, I may actually have to uh, turn and fight here because it doesn't look like I'm going to be f getting too much anytime soon. Right. Torpedo and pulsars. Good. Right. Hit hit them. Oh, hold on. Everybody cancel cancel their pre existing orders and fire. Oh they've got oh that ship's terminator lightning strike focus. Bollocks. Activate emergency repair. Uh, turn and break tail and get the hell out of here. Um and we wanna try and do that. You guys warm up, boost forward a little bit, you two do that, you do that, you do that, halt, forward, attack, cancel orders, move orders. Okay, hollow fields aren't that great. Pathfinder assault, hull breach, perfection. Lightning squadrons, right. lightning strikes, lightning strikes, avatar of Kane, zoom in, re auto repair, auto repair torpedoes. Uh, I probably want you to go here and then attack. I want you to go up here and attack. Oh, am 
my main my main cruiser is getting a bit of a pounding. If we shoot round behind here. Oh I might not win this, but I'm gonna give it a go. Right, insubordinate captain. Right, everyone gang up on this. Right. Heavy damage. One more volley and it's dead. Boost. Ah, oh, was close to getting it out of the way. Right. This ship is uh, pretty poked. Pulsar. Not as ideal as I hoped it would be. Um, back up out there. Move. Engage engines. Back up forward. Forward. Engage engines. Oh. Wow, that was just sheer incompetence on my part. That Imperial captain was probably like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what happened? What did I just witness? Oh. Sheer idiocy. Still, Eldar are quite fun, but it's obvious I don't have the knack to get them down right. Ah. Uh. Wonder of the Laughing God. Hmm, that's a cool name. We'll give it another, give it another one there, lads. Oh, uh, give it another one. Using special maneuvers reveals your ship. Use it to lure. Oh, no. I hate it when it does that sometimes. One of the things in um, I've been playing on my PS4 Dragon Age Inquisition and it always has the interesting fluff dialogue in the loading screens and I can never read it because the loading screens are that fast which I know I should bitch about but if you they put the stuff in and want you to read it and then you can't read it it gets a bit annoying what's a warlock do? Lancers and macro cannons so I put everything into that? How did I lay this fleet out exactly? Okay, boarding actions? Don't really get boarding actions. What favor did I give this? Oofway. Maelstorm and Psychic Blockade. Okay. okay, so... It's a, a proof against lightning strikes, which I suppose makes a bit of sense. With full firepower. Hmm... Bone Singers, Spirit Stones, cooldown abilities. So what did I ba- This is entirely based out for boarding actions. What favor has it got? Avatar of Cain. And Aspect Warriors. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. And you have Elatok. Which is... Ranger Strike Team and Camouflage. Odd layout. What's Beltan do? Oh, Beltan is the Avatar of Cain. What's this one do? Pathfinder Disruption and Ambusher. Detects and click plus 25 damage. Oh, that was an interesting one. Alright, let's go. We'll do another one. If your weaponry is stronger in the front, or you've lost your broadside weaponry, configure the ship's behavior to favor front-facing combat. Unless, oh, I was going to say, if your weapon is strong in the front, yeah. Unless you don't have any weapons in the front, then you can't really do much about that. Imperial Navy, yet again. Hmm. We're going to try the same ships, maybe. Uh, now we're going to we'll get the heavy cruiser, and we'll just take one escort, because... Escorts aren't as powerful as they used to be. When this game first came out, I used to make a fleet, which was most of my fleets were just entirely escort vessels, because they were very overpowered for being um, the, for how much cost they were worth, especially chaos ships. The infidel raiders with the forward lancers were really good. Oh, defend the plant plant. I was about to say defend the plantations. God, don't know where my brain is. Defend the platforms and repel the enemy. Okay, well. We'll 
put our two big ships up here to cover each other. And our two smaller ship, our three smaller ships down the front here. There we go. 6,000k weaponry, forward firing, disengage, auto engage. You two go forward firing, 6,000k, disengage, auto engage, ready. Right, so bulk of enemy fleet is coming up the north. Uh, we shall endeavor to have a look. Right, um, maybe if we attack a flank, hit them on the flanks. Uh, what have we got? Maelstorm is a good aerial denial one. Let's put Maelstorm right there so the ships have to walk into it. Oh, bollocks. Turn around, turn around, turn around. That's avoided. Oh, wait, I've got bombs. Play from the bomb. Right, forward firing. Alright, guys. Oof. I'm not very good at micromanaging today, am I? Right, X. Let's deal with that. Disengage that. Turn it around. Alright. Good pulsars are kicking in. Good firing on the rear armor. Forward. Lightning strike. Nightwing squadron. Hit the bombers to get to hit that one. Forward firing torpedoes. Torpedoes forward firing Avatar of Cain. Uh, good, 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 good. Right now, you two. Uh, deal with this ships up. These ships up the top here. I'm imagining two heavy ships and an escort. I've well, got an es got the escort down part part down. Right, you three. Forward into closer range. Get a bit of a, a bit of an advantage with the shuriken cannons here. Because we're right behind them, we're just peppering them, which is good. Oh, these guys are entirely escorts. All right, forward firing. Perfection. Just pick them off one by one, Elder. Right. Uh. Don't need lightning strikes. What have we got? We use the bombers to target this one. Uh, you don't have bombers, and I don't really need to hollow field or wraith bone reinforce anything at the moment. You can do lightning strike those. Uh, dark Star Squadron. I don't really need a Dark Star Squadron at the moment. Oh, better protect my platforms. Repair. Uh, we'll go for shield upgrade on that. Right, torpedoes. Uh, we'll save the bombers. Beautiful, look at that. See, all this it needed was me to get the right hang of it. Alright, um, destroy this little ship. We're not going to use torpedoes. And we don't need to use a Dark Scar Squadron. We don't need to use any abilities at the moment. Uh, I might up your repair a little bit. Avatar of Cain. Let's target the engines. I don't want it to run anywhere. Lightning Squadron and Bombers. Are the Bombers right? Yep. Right. And you guys can go down to 3,000 kilometers range and just keep peppering them with your... There you go, freaking quad pulsars. Oh, this is this is fun. I like the Eldar. I've always kind of liked the Eldar. Of my favorite of the, you know, Xenos races that aren't humans, them, um, it's always been the Eldar. Uh, yeah, Eldar, then orcs, then old Necrons, then Tyranids, then Squats, then everything else, and then and then Tau is how it runs with me. Why did my escort die at the last second? That made no logical sense. Hmm. Right. Come on. You can look. You can do it, game. Come on. There you go. Victory! That was good. Anyone level up? Ooh, the Eclipse of War leveled up. Exile of War. Press. 
open bracket, spacebar, close bracket, to slow down the game. It'll give you time to think, plan, and order your ships. Certainly does. Something I genuinely enjoy about this game, actually. I've never actually used the tactical cogitator in online, though, because I don't play against other people, because other people suck. Um, but certainly in against AI or against in single player, I you find it very useful. Oh, we get a crew upgrade. Um. Yeah, we'll go for eagle pirate pilots. I think that's a good idea. Uh, Void dreamer. I don't understand why it's what lost in the warp. It should be lost in the webway, but it's all right. I can forgive the odd little inaccuracy. That's a cool-looking webway gate. Very misty. It looks very chaotic. That webway gate, doesn't it? Oh, what's this button? Corsair groups. Twilight swords. What does that do? Oh, is this the new um, color palette system? Oh, it is. I've, I've. You can tell how long it's been since I played the Elder. I completely forgot the color palette ref reflected on them as well. That is a pretty cool color scheme. I'm, I'm going to keep it as the Twilight Rangers. There we go. All right then, guys. Well, thank you for a sitting through another fun little Battlefleet Gothic Armada episode. Um, I may, I may do a few more of these in the future. I might, and I'll probably stop railing against the towel, except for the big anti-towel video I have coming up in the future. Um, but until then, thank you very much for watching, audience, and I will catch you all again another time.